Also this noontime, breaking news in a Target 12 investigation. Criminal charges against uh, former Rhode Island state rep Ray Gallison is now set to plead guilty to nine criminal charges. After the Target 12 investigators told you earlier this month, he was accused of taking money from a man's estate. Target 12 Chief Investigator Tim White was at this morning's news conference with state investigators and joins us live with the latest. Raymond Gallison, the former chairman of the powerful House Finance Committee, facing nine federal felony counts, including wire fraud, mail fraud, ID theft, and filing false tax returns. The 64-year-old Democrat from Bristol has already pledged to plead guilty in this case. A court date has not yet been set. In essence, as we previously reported, Gallison is accused of stealing from the estate of a Barrington man, Ray Medley, who died in 2012. He's also charged with stealing from a special needs trust that was set up to care for a disabled person. In all, Gallison is accused of pocketing more than $680,000. Now, one of the tax charges accuses Gallison of lying about how much money a nonprofit he ran spent to help students. That nonprofit was Alternative Education Programming and Tax Filings. Gallison claimed they spent some $78,000 and helped 47 students. In reality, federal and state investigators say it was just $3,000 on two students. Now, prosec prosecutors say these crimes primarily happened in Gallison's capacity as an attorney. At a press conference moments ago, I asked U.S. Attorney Peter Narona how much of this case stemmed from Gallison's role as a former lawmaker. Do you consider this a public corruption case? Let me put it this way, and I alluded to this in my remarks. Um, to me, whenever a public official raises his right hand um, or her right hand and takes an oath to serve the people, that means they should be a good character in their public and their private life. I don't draw that distinction. Um, I think it's a false choice that we have to make when we draw that distinction. Um, you know, there are those of us who, in, in public office who don't have a personal capacity. We're always acting in our official capacity. And frankly, it shouldn't be that difficult to act with character in all walks of your life, public and private. And as I said, it, there, it is at least ironic, at least ironic, that someone who engages in this level of financial fraud is the House Finance Chair. I mean, if that isn't sending up alarm bells to folks, it ought to. Again, Ray Gallison facing nine federal felony counts. He's pledged to plead guilty to all of them. Narona tells me this case is closed. Don't expect any more, anyone else to be charged or any more charges to come forward. I did reach out to Gallison's attorney, but have not heard back just yet. By the way, Narona says as part of the plea agreement, Gallison will face at least two years in prison, but he could get more. Ultimately, that's up to the courts. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.